Hey there everyone, I'm Dresden, and welcome back to another episode of Driving Until Destroyed. I got it working! Glad I got it working. Um, <laughs> today is part one of the multi-part kind of mini-series we're gonna have on this, testing out this. Which is the Gavril MD series. Um, it is the new mid-range pickup truck, like a... Like, it's between the D-series and the T-series, it's like the big series, kinda, if that makes sense. Um, uh-oh, get out of reverse. Um, I just want to point out, right now, there are dents on this. How cool is that? <laughs> anyway, um... So we're gonna go ahead and get started in the MD series. This is the Gavril MD-70 pickup. This episode is gonna be all based off of the MD-70. The next one will be the MD-60, I believe. The other one, and then we'll probably have a third part where we just test out some random ones. So far, this is not very fast. I wouldn't really expect it to be. This is like the bigger one, so it's based off maybe like <coughs> the Ford F550, kind of. You can tell that it's a Ford, well, a Ford, a Gavril. Um, oh, heck. Alright, we're gonna re- we're gonna restart that. I, uh, completely overestimated the brakes. <laughs> um, yeah, you can tell it's based off of the D-Series, kinda, just bigger. Like, the front end looks a lot different, but the cab and the bed besides the like flares on it are pretty much the D-series um it's just the D-series but bigger this is like the one like I know they did it I think it's the Ford F550 um it's either the 4 or the 5 where like a company took a couple of them and made them like actual consumer trucks that look like this um they're just massive and super powerful and they're really cool and I think that's kind of what this is based off of um oh Crap. Ow. <laughs> what a hit on the ground. That's kind of what I, We hit the ground so hard that our rear bumper is folded in. <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about with these. I didn't expect them to be very fast. I still don't expect them to be very fast. I don't expect these to be very long videos because these are quite slow, very big and heavy trucks. Um... But I do want to test out a bunch of the different ones because they're really cool. I want to start doing that with a lot of the vehicles. If I make a new series on this, I'm going to go like vehicle by vehicle, I think. Where I'll like have you guys leave suggestions for the next vehicle to test. And then I'll either do, if it's got like a mod with one variation, I'll do three runs with it. Or if it's a vehicle that has multiple variations, I'll just do three of them. Maybe do a few parts. Maybe I'll come back to them at some point, you know. To make it a little more organized than this, where I just try to pick, like, random vehicles, and I never know what to pick. Um, I also need to find a new map, though. I know of a map, I just don't remember the name of it. That's our radiator. Um, <clears throat> that's really good <coughs> that our radiator left. <laughs> just kind of dipped. So did our rear bumper. Um, this thing is going to start overheating. We have made it a mile, though. We did not clear that last jump, but I did kind of figure these would be, like, behemoths of vehicles. So, they will tend to be pretty strong, I'm sure. We just ate our side skirt. So that's gone now. Oh, the other one's also gone. Oh! Crap. See, but they just eat the hits. Ah, uh, maybe it didn't. That The hood is stopping the uh, front wheel from turning. Now, can we get out of this? It's just that hood. I'm not gonna rip off bodywork. That's why it ends up getting stuck. Looks like we're good to keep going. I don't know if that's the hood or if there's something else stopping it from turning. No, because it's turning. I'm not gonna rip off the hood. Let me see if I can kind of bend it upward. Yeah, like that. There we go. Kinda. Uh, it grabs every once in a while. 
that hood, I think, just needs to fall off. <laughs> Actually, I know it does, because it's causing problems. Like, our wheel's just grabbing the hood. Um, through the water, does that cool us at all, or are we too big? We are too big, I believe. Get cooled off by the water. Goody, goody. Whoa. This thing's quite hard to control. Um, currently. <coughs> Definitely currently quite hard to control but that's just because the steering is tweaked I think it pretty much runs like smooth <sighs> other than that you can't even tell that we're overheating because our radiator fell out and that's the only part that smokes um in the vehicle when it's overheating so really this just looks like mechanically just a D series that needs an alignment the MD series that needs an alignment that's all it looks like you know? Um, ooh, can we turn? That's 1.6 miles, we're about 0.1 miles off. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we're gonna try to do the thing again where I bend that up. That's causing problems. Again. And we're back, people. We are back. So we made it a lap. It looks like we're about 0.1 miles ahead, 0.1 and a half-ish. I'll just say 0.1 because I don't know where the half lies in what it says. It just says 0.9 miles. You know. Um, we are pulling to the left much more violently than we were before, once I hit that wall. Which is great, that means this is really hard to control. It still somehow turns right though. Not sure how it manages that. Oh! Um, <laughs> well, I think that's the end of this. <laughs> we are not going to be able to move. Yeah, it's just too hard to control with the steering bent like that. That one hit, and it's so heavy, it just bent that wheel. Bent it out of alignment, and that's that. That's all she wrote. Not too bad, though. Um, really not too bad, actually. Two miles? Pretty much exactly. I actually no, it did not make it two miles. Probably one point eight miles. I will write down. Um, not too bad though. All right, next up we have this. This is the Gavril MD series MD seven hundred tanker upfit. It's got big, beefy, like mud wheels. This thing, this feels like a truck that would be in like Snow Runner. Or Mud Runner, like a spin tires game. Um, speaking of which, if you guys want to see me play any more Snow Runner, let me know. It's been a while since I played that. Um, also, if you want to see me update the leaderboard for this series, let me know. I have not done that for a long time. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yep, this is the tanker upfit. <coughs> I hit my knee on the desk. You guys probably heard that. I wish that I still had the thing that told me the weight of the vehicle compared to, like, the horsepower it has. I'm assuming it has a lot of horsepower, like, three, four, maybe even 500, but it probably weighs, like, five tons, so that's why it's so slow still. Um, very cool vehicle, though. Also, you'll notice I don't drive like this. I like to see this way. If I see it this way, I can avoid the bumps easier. Um... That rear suspension is made to have a load on it that's heavier than this. It's made to have the full tanker load, I would imagine. So it's going to be very springy. Um, might be the death of us. Actually, this jump might be. Oh, You know what? It's almost as if I can predict the future. <coughs> our uh, front and rear drive shaft broke, and so did our transfer case. Actually, our transfer case is right there, laying on the ground underneath our front wheel um so pretty much that means no drive no go <laughs> yeah that's a hard hit that for all of the MD series I'm hoping there's some higher performance models I don't think we're running them today probably the third episode we'll try to get the higher performance models but uh yeah it's not good at all 686 point yards is really rough um 
But all right, <laughs> on to the final version of this vehicle for this episode. All right, and finally we have this. This one will be interesting. We have the Gavril MD70 cargo box facelift. Yeah, um, so it's very long. It is very, very long. Um, and this will be fun. Now, before we get started here, I just want to see, I mainly just want to see this. Let's just spawn a D-series, okay? Let's spawn, spawn, spawn the D-15 fleet vehicle. Look at the size comparison between the Gavril D-series and the Gavril MD-series. Is that not <laughs> hilarious? How much bigger this thing is. Like, obviously it would be. It's the the Mi MD series, Mega D series. Actually, it might be what that stands for. It's almost twice as long. This one in particular, our cargo box one. Almost twice as long as the fleet truck. That is just hilariously insane. I want to crash this thing. Anyway, um, uh, I don't think, okay, <clears throat> ignore that, I don't know what it means. Anyway, <coughs> let's go ahead and drive this thing, it's behemoth, it's actually really hard to see anything uh, around this, <laughs> but that's okay, not really. Um. I could actually have probably put a vehicle in the back, it would have made it a little easier to drive, I'm sure, because, again, rear suspension is definitely made to haul a load a little heavier than this, so it's going to be very bumpy when it's empty. But that's okay, we'll deal with it. Um, not very well, probably. Well, this only has one fuel tank, kind of interesting. Not doesn't look like a massive fuel tank either. I'm sure it's got another one under the truck somewhere, but it doesn't look very big. Okay. This is the slowest we've taken this jump today. Let's see if we survive it. Ooh. Okay. Engine damage, pressure tank leaking. That's a problem. Engine damage is okay. Pressure tank leaking. Our brakes are pressure based because the vehicle is so big, and so when the pressure tank loses all the pressure, the brakes will lock and just we will not be able to move. Um, so we're a ticking time bomb. So that's good. That's really good, uh, actually. That means that we're going to struggle. I don't know why that's really good. Let's see if we can make it to a lap, though. <coughs> or at least over the big jump. I don't know how badly the pressure tank is leaking. It doesn't give you, like, a damage percentage of the leak or anything. So I'm not quite sure. But it's probably not good. Um, I think we're gonna make the jump, though. I can't tell if the brakes are locking or if that's just the engine damage. Probably just the engine damage. Also, we pull to the right a little bit. Not a big problem compared to the other issues we're having. Ooh! Big ol' hit. It almost looked like there was stuff in the back of this. Like, the cola cases or whatever in some of the truck configs. But there are not. There are not. It is just wood. <coughs> and metal bracing. Sorry about the cough, by the way. I apologize for that. Um, yeah, it's rough. I don't know why I'm talking so much. Oh! Make the jump! Okay, we actually... Okay, well... Ow. Um, kind of made the jump. We kind of made the jump. Probably the best we've made it so far out of any of the MD series trucks, anyway. Um, this thing's not doing too bad. I don't think we've popped the radiator yet. I think the only problem is the pressure tank, and that may not be a problem for a while. I don't know how long it takes until we completely lose brakes on the truck. By lose brakes, I mean they lock. Drive. 
Um. Guess what's happening? We're about to make it a lap, which I was hoping <coughs> we would be able to. That's good. I hope there's a really powerful one of these that's like this long, because this thing would be really fun to drift. It's definitely rear wheel drive. So, this thing would be so fun to slide around. I mean, kind of, uh oh, I'm going to hit the wall. You can kind of get it to slide around just now. Um. Be really cool if there is maybe at some point someone will make one or something that's just super high powered and it's like this upfit but high powered or at least an engine you can put in that very powerful that would be able to make that happen um make it very slidey i think our distance reader is a little off again okay though Ooh. Oh, oh! Forward, forward, forward! Oh! Not dead yet! We're not dead yet! Can we make it out of this? Our oil pan's gone. We're losing oil. Radiator's gone. Pressure tank is gone. Oh no! I think we're gonna end up. No! Too far, too far! And we're so close to getting out, but we may end up being beached here. Oh no. No. Look at that. Look at that. Why you never give up, kids. Uh oh. Make the turn. Make the turn. Make it. Watch the bumper. Not going to eat that. We're back! We are back, baby! Look at that. Walking into my house. 2.2 miles is about where we are now. 2.1-ish, I would say. Um, I'm going to say we're about 0.2 off on the little distance reader, judging by where we were at that jump. And then we added a bit, so... Good. Um, engine is starved of oil. As to be expected. But it doesn't seem to matter too much. We're still going. This thing, I'm surprised we haven't even, like, beached out. I mean, we have, trying to get out of the water. But, like, anywhere significant, we haven't significantly beached ourselves. Which is good. Also surprised the pressure tank is lasting this long. Really didn't expect it to. Um, pleasantly surprised on that front, though. Very pleasantly surprised. This jump's gonna hurt. We do go kind of straight now, though, which is good. Ooh. Ouch. Get over, get over, get over. Don't beat yourself. Beach, don't beach. Now we're good. This thing eats the hard hits. Maybe not. Front left wheel has... Or front right wheel has no steering anymore. Um. <clears throat> will it be the death of us? Yeah, probably. But at least we can keep going now. Maybe it'll fall off. It probably won't, judging by the fact that I hit a concrete barrier in the first vehicle really hard, and the wheel didn't fall off. I think the wheel is kind of stuck on the car. Um, it's strong enough. Stuck on the car. Put on the truck. Big honking truck. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Get over. We're good. We're grand, actually. Look at this. It looks practically brand new. I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle in this good condition. Um, drives like she's new, looks like she's new, look at this, maybe not. Um, make this work, steering to the right right now. I guess we have only had to steer left for a little while. We cannot turn right. Okay. 2.9 miles is where we'll leave this off. I know it says 3.1 there, but it's lying to you. 
We're about 2.2 ahead, I believe, still. So, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say 2.9. Not too bad. Um, undercoated. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. Uploads were every Tuesday, Thursday. Now they're like every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, plus VODs all the time. I don't know. Random. I stream on Twitch every night, almost now. So there's a lot of VODs to upload. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.